Good job, guys. Uh, I know usually you introduce in the beginning, but we wanted to surprise you with our poor guy. So my name is Esther Vandekar, and I'm the new uh, Tyco instructor here. So they've had kind of a hard time putting me into shape, uh, but I think I'm getting it now. Um, the two tunes we played were, one was a Matsuri, and this one is uh, has a story behind it. So if you have a minute, I'm going to tell it. If you don't, well, it's been swell. Oh, but before I do that, I want to introduce Lee. I could introduce everybody, but Lee, I forgot to put on the program. So uh, I, I'm so sorry. She's a, this, this group, like the others, they have community members and uh, Kalamazoo College members. So uh, Lee just kind of slipped through the cracks there. She's from another community, too. Is that okay that we let people slide in here from other cities? Um, so the story about this song that's so interesting, uh, and I wish we had a, I wish we had a, another song we could play after this, but is that in Japan almost all the songs have stories behind them. They're from the countryside. This one is from the Noto Peninsula. If you want to go look that up, um, and they were suffering from a drought. Everybody was starving, the vegetables wouldn't grow, and of course rice means rain. So uh, they built this scaffold and put, uh, we don't know for sure how many drums, I'm going to tell you three. And everybody in the village played. Uh, they, they played 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and I haven't got it quite straight how many days that was, but let's say seven. And when the rain came, it drowned all the vegetables, and it, there was just too much of it, except for the rice. The rice loved all that rain, so they did not starve, and they're still alive and well up there in the Noto Peninsula, uh, and that was called Honen Daiko. So we hope you enjoyed it. We hope that some of you come and join us next time, and if not, come and watch us do our thing. Woo. Thank you very much. So February 21st, I hope you mark it on your calendars now. This is where you need to be. And in the meantime, good luck with all your end of the quarter obligations and all of that good stuff. And I want to encourage you all to check out the music for the uh, Michigan Sacred Music Festival that's starting and running all this weekend next week. If you are enjoying any of what you're seeing here, there's going to be wonderful musicians from around the world representing a diverse array of musical styles and cultural traditions. Some free shows with the Shakuhachi and some Native American flute. A wonderful program by an Iraqi uh, Udis and our Buka player is going to be happening here in town at all the churches downtown and, and around, so check that out. And of course, continue to come back to Kate College. There's wonderful programs here from all our ensembles as well. So good luck on finals, and we'll see you next time.